Well, Steve White, Steve White's 89. I'm not going to pretend like I know who the latest pop girls are. Um, pop tarts, as someone called them, which I always thought was funny. Um, and I just did a video on Sabrina Carpenter because I'm like, okay, I keep hearing this girl's name. Who is she? Is she going to be the next somebody? What's this about? So I watched one of her videos and I'm like, okay, well, I kind of feel like the only other person I've heard anything about lately, beside the regular, you know, divas, was um, Chappelle Rowan. And whenever I think of her, I just think grown. Because the only, the first thing I heard about her was her hating her fans and coming out and saying, don't talk to me, don't ask for photos, you know, you shouldn't treat stars like they're different than regular people, although they're not regular people, they're stars. So I had a real problem with her attitude, and um, she was getting a lot of bad press, and I was wondering if some of that was because she apparently is LGBT+. Um, plus, she's, she's in the community somewhere is what I've heard, but I haven't gotten into her business. Um, let's talk of her creating a lesbian renaissance or something. I have no idea. I don't know why this girl is famous. Because when I looked, I couldn't. I had to go back a year to find an actual music video for Hot to Go, and that's it. Everything else is just lyric videos and live and audio. And I'm like, she doesn't seem to be a powerhouse in in um, you know mainstream music or anything. So I'm not quite sure why we're talking about her. Is it just because she's LGBT plus, so people just had to attack her? Now the last thing I heard about her was she was taking a mental health break, which it sounded like she needed because it sounded like she was having a bit of a breakdown and really wasn't. Um, didn't really get what was happening. Like, you don't pursue fame and then attack people for treating you like you're famous. It's just, you don't, yeah. So I had a real problem with her pretending like she didn't know what she was getting into and then attacking fans for being fans. It just really bothered me. And now with the mental health break, I think she cancelled some appearances at some festivals or something. Um, I don't think she has a tour happening or anything like that. And she did it for mental health reasons. She said she needs to prioritise things in her life and needs to take some time for herself. And there's talk of her having mental illness. I don't know if she has. They've talked about her being bipolar. That would explain some rea some of her reactions, which I felt were um, out of proportion and so forth. Now, I don't know if she does have bipolar, and I don't, I'm not diagnosing her. I'm not saying anything about that um, as a... As a um, mental illness, but she seems to be more famous for drama and attention and issues and politics than she does for music. And as much as I liked um, Hot To Go, it was a cute video, um, she basically went to some Midwestern town and taught the locals and some drag queens and her parents how to do this dance that was done to the title Hot To Go. And it's fun, she seems fine, I'm like, okay much like Sabrina Carpenter, I'm like, why are they famous? Why are we talking about them? I kind of get that um, Chappelle's got this drama. Sabrina just seems to be your typical little girly girl. I, I, I'm like, why are these girls famous and are they going to be able to actually achieve the sort of status that our current sort of divas have? And I'm sort of wondering if they can because of the media, but also because... They don't seem to be saying much. They don't seem to be doing much. Gaga at least had something to say. When she came up, she may have been stealing everything she had to say from Bowie and Madonna and um, Grace Jones, but at least she seemed to still have something in her empty vessel to sort of, um, <laughs> that's a Grace Jones reference, um, to, you know, put out there. She seemed to actually be parroting some interesting ideas and, and stealing some interesting concepts. And, and uh, <laughs> i got, I got to stop trashing Gaga. No, I do think she emulated people and then didn't give them the credit they deserved and I will never forgive her for saying that she was inspired by no one because um, she clearly was inspired by Bowie who I love and Grace Jones who I love and Madonna who I love so um, yeah so I'm just looking at these new girls and wondering why they're famous what do they want what are they trying to achieve can they achieve it and is that even possible anymore with the way the media is where everyone's in their own little bubbles with their own little um, you know what, what is it, um, confirmation bias and, and just, everyone just gets told, the algorithm just feeds them what they want and there's no overall media that is really getting behind one person or really sort of supporting people on the level that they're used to and will we ever have stars, pop stars, movie stars like we had in the past? I think that era has gone, I think the last pop stars and movie stars really have been like in the last five, ten years, I think Taylor Swift's like probably the last 
big sort of music star we're going to get. And she sort of is now the industry. Like like the last person they sort of got behind was her, and they're still behind her, and they they haven't moved on. And she's just got this momentum that's just kept going. And I'm like, I don't think she's earned it, but she's the only one standing. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of um, Chappelle Roan and why she's famous and why she's having so many issues. And, you know, is, is this discrimination or is she just not um, fit for being famous? I don't know. I'm not quite sure what's happening with her. But um, I'm going to go. Bye.